Hey there, Tom from Blue Root here, here to show you our latest feature. It's Note Templates. I think you're really going to like it. Let's get right into it here. So it's an extension, and when you install the extension, what you'll get is you'll get a full area here called Note Templates. So it's just another module. And when you load it up, it actually kind of just looks like any other module. But the real kind of secret with this, I guess not secret, but the, I guess, secret sauce with it is this button here called Manage Note Templates. So this area here is basically a list of all your templates. I've got five right now. And you can kind of click in and do stuff there, but it's not that nice, to be honest. What's a lot nicer is clicking here. And so when this loads up, you can see that it shows a bunch of, well, all those templates, but in a bit of a nicer form. I can search for them. I can say, hey, whatever. You can see how it kind of expands and contracts based on what I search. I can create a brand new template if I want. If there's an existing one, I could click it and I can kind of see what's going on, uh, what that template is. So this is kind of the name of the template. This is the subject of the note. And then this here is the content of the note. So you'll see that maybe a little bit more specifically when we actually use it in practice, actually use the template. But this area here is making the templates to start. So what I'll do, I'll just as an example, I'll, I'll edit this here. And yeah, I can come in here and I'm going to call this Tom's video note template. Um, subject is going to be, um, you know, uh, you know, call with, and then when I actually do the, the number sign, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a hint here, when I do the number sign, I'm actually allowed to do merge takes. So this is in the contact module. And so when I load this up, I can actually say, okay, I want the subject of my note to be call with and, you know, Tom or whomever, right? So I can do that. And then I can come in here and say, okay, what do I actually want to be in that template? So this is your starting point for your note, which then you'll be able to edit on a case-by-case -case basis. So what I'll say is, you know, for this template, I want to know, you know, what's favorite color, um, <laughs> favorite movie, I don't know. I'm just putting random stuff in. Uh, but you get the idea and then confirm maybe address and, you know, this might be worthwhile because, again, I can use these merge tags so I can say, you know, something like that, right? So this is the one that we have on file. Is that right? So I can actually pull in data that I have about these clients right into the template so I'm not scrolling around. I just have it right there ready to go. So this looks pretty good. I'm just going to hit save. So there it is. It's It's updated. That's great. And now I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to go over into an actual person here. So this is Ned Flanders. Um, and yeah, this should look familiar. This is like any other uh, person that you would deal with in the CRM. Uh, but when I click in, you can see notes. Notes are standard. So I'm actually not going to use this area. This is probably you know what you're used to, to writing notes, but I want to use a note template. I want to have a templated version. So the trick is... Again, I, I'm going to use this term secret sauce. Maybe I don't think that's the right term, but I'm using it. Is in the top right corner here, you have note templates. So I'm going to click that for net. And what you can see is all those templates that I had over there for all my contacts, they show up here. And again, I can search for it. I can you know, say, hey, what's that video? I can say, okay, what is, what's in this template again? Oh, yeah, that's it. And at any point, I can just hit select, and this pops me into it. Now, obviously, what you can see is when I did this, uh, it actually loaded up the information, right? So you can see it says call with Ned, uh, confirm address. So it looks like I have his name as the address. So that's obviously wrong. But so I can come in here now for my call with Ned. You know, we're just chatting. He says his you know, favorite movie is green. Uh, you know, favorite, sorry, color is green. Favorite movie is The Departed. And, you know, his address is 123 Main Street, something like this. Now, this isn't going to go right into the address. It's not integrated like that. But what you can see if I hit save, it'll actually go right in here. The last thing that I do want to show too, though, is that you can still very much so like the normal tags, you know, tag your <coughs> colleagues. So I could tag Homer Simpson here, hit save, and you can see it kind of loads there for a second, but you can see there it is, you know, call with Ned, favorite color is green, favorite movie is Departed, and then, hey, this is his main street. And then I tagged Homer. It's just like I would if I came in here and did at here, Homer. Um, it shows up there. And it works to say my homework gets a ping and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, that's more or less what it, the, the idea of that note template is. So, again, just to recap, we talked about how you can actually come in here, create, manage, edit those templates. And then if I go over here into the borrower, I can actually use those templates, load it up, 
and uh, and see it in action and tag my colleagues if necessary. So uh, I hope this was useful. We're excited about this feature. We've gotten a ton of requests for it, uh, and I hope you enjoy it too. Thanks.